Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin and today we are doing another monster mash. So today we're going back to kind of the traditional setup of having three different things to mash together and today we're gonna do two animals and an attribute. So I'm doing this live on Twitch right now and if you would like to participate in any other future monster mashes or any other fun little live drawing activities, you're welcome to follow me at twitch.tv forward slash kmckeg. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna collect a couple of different ideas for two different animals and then an attribute from the Twitch community. I'll put them in the straw poll, they'll vote, and then we'll draw whatever is picked today. All right, Twitch chat, go ahead and send me a couple of different animal ideas and we will start with that. All right, so the Twitch chat has voted, so let's see what two animals and attribute they picked. So for the first animal, it was either a cat, a jellyfish, a Gila monster, a butterfly, or a rabbit. And the final result is a cat or a jellyfish. It's currently tied. We're gonna have to figure that one out. Maybe someone will vote and change the tip the scales or who knows what, but that's tied. We'll leave that, we'll leave that to vote. Maybe someone else will click. And if not, we'll do another vote between the two for a tiebreaker. And then next for the next animal, it was either a duck, a panther, a dog, a tiger, or a monkey. So dog's the second animal. And then for the attribute, we have steampunk, zombie, magical, hipster, or chibi. And the final result is steampunk. So we have a steampunk dog. And let's see if the, did this tip over? No? All right, we're gonna have to do a tiebreaker between cat and jellyfish. So let's go ahead and pick the results for our tiebreaker. So it was either a cat or a jellyfish and the results are, oh my gosh, it's tied again. Come on guys, come on, someone else vote. <laughs> I need a tiebreaker. If not, I'm flipping a coin and then we'll pick whatever it is, heads or tails, and then we'll have to figure it out from there. Someone else vote. <laughs> there we go. We got the tiebreaker. So jellyfish has won by one vote. So you have a jellyfish with a dog with the attribute of steampunk. So that is going to be interesting. So for this part of the process, I was trying to figure out how to combine a dog and a jellyfish. So first and foremost, I kind of thought about which dog would look best combined with a jellyfish. And I was like, well, why not a bulldog? They have all like the flaps and like different parts that fold and just these little fat pudgy dogs. And I thought that would work really well with the uh, jellyfish aspect. So I kind of tried to figure out how to combine the two with steampunk. Um, I started out with much more of a, I think both of these first ones, if I would have to say, are both more character designs, more so than like a monster, so to say, just because they're, I don't know, they look a little more like humanoid. Like they would be a character in a series that would talk or have some, I guess, part in the story. So I kind of tried to push it even more later on in making it a lot more monstrous. It's really hard because all I could see with these ones specifically was the dogs from Samurai Jack, like the talking smart dogs. Even with this final one, the jellyfish mixed with the dog, I think it's just that aspect of the steampunk that just makes it look, I guess, more humanoid or more intelligent. And it probably doesn't help that I added a monocle and a hat. Like that for sure makes it look very much more uh, intelligent than just a normal everyday monster. All right, so we have finished our rough sketches of our dog jellyfish steampunk combination. And I really like how this third one looks. He's just this adorable little derpy dog jellyfish. And we gave him like some robot arms, a steampunk collar. I love the idea of him with a monocle with a little bowler hat. He's really, really cute. But I do want to point out, I absolutely love how this one came out, but He's more of a character design session. Maybe we'll go back and do him in another episode because I love how this looks. He's in his little jellyfish steampunk boat. Maybe we'll do him in another episode sometime in the future, but I would love to revisit him in another video. Maybe we'll start another character design series instead of just monster mashes. I'll have to think of a name for that one too, but we'll do some character design ones and maybe he'll be the first one. But either way, we're gonna go ahead and go with this third one. I think it's a cute combination of making him like this weird blubbery jellyfish thing with some mechanical parts on him. And I don't know, he's pretty dang cute. So I'm excited to jump in, draw him and give him some more steampunky elements as I go. 
but we're gonna go ahead and go with this third design. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in, resketch this guy. I don't know exactly what pose I'm gonna do, but I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna try to give him a little bit more of a dynamic and interesting pose, and then we will do the line art and color and we'll be done. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So after we picked the final concept sketch that we were gonna run with, I went in and did a new, more refined sketch of the character creature thing in general. Um, looking back now, I do kind of like the first initial sketch and pose. I don't mind how this other one turned out, but I think the other one, I don't know. I just like the angle of it and just how it looked in general. But I just wanted to try a different angle, see if I could maybe highlight this creature kind of looking up at us or uh, show more detail in the collar and a couple of different things. So we just ran with this sketch and had a lot of fun just rethinking him and redesigning him from a different angle. And I know with this one in particular, some of you guys might call me out on this. I know that jellyfish like tentacle arm things, they're not like octopus arms. They don't kind of mold and mesh and like can be moved by the creature. I mean, they can, but it's not like, um, what is it called? It's not as dexterous as like an octopus arm. But I thought it would be kind of fun to introduce that to this character because, I mean, he has the little robot arm things attached to his collar, but I think it would be really cool if those tentacles were able to move and grab things and just be a part of this character design. So I just kind of made the artistic choice to give one of these little tentacles a little pipe that it would hold. So in my mind, this character can use all of those tentacles. Maybe a couple of them are a little more free flowing, like how a jellyfish actually is in the ocean. But I think maybe a handful of them could at least move around and grab things or do things that the character needs it to do. So I first started out with a couple of these like tentacle things, but um, I thought it wasn't really enough. So I added a bunch more to give it a little bit more of a flowing look, just like a jellyfish has in the ocean. And then I went through and added a base color layer to start with, so then I could block in all of the colors for the different parts of this creature. And then this part was really tough for me to pick what color since jellyfish and bulldogs probably have a pretty different color palette, it was a little hard to pick what to do. So after researching um, more jellyfish and some coloring that they have and pulling up a couple different pictures of bulldogs, I kind of found some similarities with like tans and yellows. And I thought I could really use that to show like this translucent type of creature, but still have the same coloring and patchwork as maybe a bulldog. So I thought it'd be fun to add in the spots and speckles and different patches of browns like on the bulldog face. And I also carried it down into the tentacles where it transitions from the lighter to the darker, which I did see on a couple different jellyfish. They have that where different areas are a little bit darker or lighter, but I really wanted to make sure I showed that since the bulldog can have some more spotting along its body. So then after adding in the base layer of all the colors, I went through and added some refining touches, including shadows and highlights, just to give it a little bit more dimension um, and a little bit more life to the character in general. And then I added just a quick little background to give it some, I guess, depth, get it, water, depth. But you know what I mean. We were just gonna add a little bit of depth to the background of this character so it didn't look like it was just floating on a little white canvas, added some bubbles and a little bit more detailing, and then we are done. Okay, so we are all done with our dog jellyfish steampunk combo. And I kept this one kind of more cartoony and loose and he turned out pretty dang adorable. But I think the head cannon for this one is he's actually some like really intense like underwater mob boss for like Atlantis. And we had a couple of different names we were going back and forth on. So I thought, you know what? Before we give this guy his full 
mob history backstory, let's pick a really cool and intimidating but also adorable name for him. So over the course of the live stream, I was reading a couple different name suggestions from some Twitch users and I picked three for the Twitch community to vote on. So we're going between Mr. Woofer, Mr. Piddles, and Callum Coilus Hilt. I think I probably pronounced that awfully, but either way, I love all these names. So I'm gonna shoot this link over to the Twitch chat and let's pick a name for our little mob boss bulldog jellyfish thing. All right, let's see what the Twitch chat picked for our adorable little thing's name. His name is Mr. Woofer. <laughs> That's so cute. So just imagine you're down in Atlantis and you need some human parts that were just chucked out into the ocean. You have to go see Mr. Woofer. So you enter his lair and he's like, oi mate, you need some parts? I'm really bad at a British accent, so I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> but I just imagine him being this like, slightly adorable but also intimidating jelly dog who happened upon some really cool human technology like a special collar that helps him talk and like some rotating propellers to help him swim faster and is trusty pipe and monocle. So I find that Mr. Woofers is the perfect name for our little guy and I just love how he turned out. He just looks like this weird wacky cartoon character that you'd see in like a children's book or some other setting but he's also kind of like this cute bulldog jellyfish thing. But he's cute and I like him. He turned out great. So thanks again guys for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you aren't already, you can go and hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every week. And I do a lot of these different monster mashes on Twitch. So if you would like to follow and participate, you can go over to twitch.tv forward slash kmckeg. So thanks again guys for stopping by and I'll see you all next time. Bye everybody.